Hey guys, in this video, we're going to dive into analyzing your email performance using System I.O. Understanding these numbers is crucial. It tells you how engaged your audience is and directly impacts your email deliverability, which is your email's ability to land in your contacts inboxes. Let's get started. From your main dashboard, navigate to the Emails tab at the top and click on Statistics. This brings you to your main email dashboard, which gives you an overview of your email performance. At the top, you can use the date filter to select the specific time period you want to analyze. The first thing you'll notice is your pool. Think of pools as categories that your account is placed in based on your email sending reputation. If you're new, you'll be in the new user pool. As you send emails and get good email stats, you'll be moved to the low risk pool. If your email stats decline, you will be moved to moderate risk or high risk. So it's essential to monitor your stats to stay in the low risk pool. It is highly recommended that you send emails from a professional address using your own custom domain to protect your sending reputation and avoid landing in the spam folder of your recipients. Next, we have these four main graphs that give you a visual overview of your email performance over the time period you selected. First, we have the number of emails sent. This is a straightforward count of how many emails you've sent each day. It helps you correlate your sending volume with your other performance metrics. After that, there's the average percentage of opened emails. This is your open rate, one of the most important indicators of audience engagement. It tells you what percentage of recipients opened your emails. A high open rate means your audience is interested in your content. Then we have the average percentage of spam reports per opened email. This is your spam rate. It shows the percentage of contacts who marked your email as spam. You want this number to be as close to zero as possible as a high spam rate of 0.3% is the fastest way to damage your sending reputation. Finally, there's the average percentage of bounced emails. This is your bounce rate. A bounce means the email could not be delivered to the recipient's mailbox. This can happen for several reasons, such as an invalid email address or a full inbox. A high bounce rate indicates that your email list needs to be cleaned. Scrolling down from the graphs, you'll find the emails table. This is where you can see a detailed performance breakdown for every single email you've sent. For each email, you can see the total number of emails sent, the total number of opens, the number of spam reports, and the number of bounces. This view is incredibly useful because it shows you both the percentage and the exact number of contacts for each metric, allowing you to see which specific emails are performing best. To get even more data, you can click on any individual email subject from this list. This will take you to a dedicated statistics page for that specific email. Here, you'll see the open rate, spam report rate, and bounce rate for that email. Crucially, this is also where you can see the click rate. The click rate tells you what percentage of recipients clicked on a link inside your email. This is a key metric for measuring how effective your email's content and call to action are. Below these metrics, you'll see a list of every single contact who was sent that email. You can see the exact time it was sent and check whether they opened it, clicked it, or if it bounced. This level of detail is important for understanding exactly how your audience is interacting with your content. You can even filter these contacts according to these metrics. Under this table, you'll see all the links that you added to your email. For each link, you can see the total clicks, which is how many times a link has been clicked, including repeated clicks from the same person. Next, you'll see the unique clicks, which don't count repeated clicks by the same person. If you wish, you can click on the link and see a more detailed table of the contacts who clicked this link, as well as check how each contact clicked. You can also choose to export these contacts as a CSV file. And there you have it. That's how you analyze your email performance in System I.O. By regularly checking these statistics, you can monitor your sending pool, keep your bounce and spam rates low, and optimize your subject lines and content to improve your open and click rates. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.